Welcome back. While Lafayette isn't the biggest city in the state, it shares a place with New Orleans as one of the top cities seeing hotter weather. Storm Track 15 meteorologist Corey Smith explains just how we are seeing this warmer weather and why it's such an issue here in the Hub City. According to a report from our partners at Climate Central, Lafayette actually ranks in the top 20 cities across the United States that are impacted by a heat island. Heat island. Well, it is what it sounds like. It's an area of locally higher temperatures that is impacted by many factors. You can see that includes albedo, green space, population density, and building height. And when we take a look at the city, you can easily see there's a lack of green space as well as an abundance of concrete. That concrete is everywhere, whether that's around our warehouses, the large parking lots, and even our creeks and streams are covered by concrete, which gets hotter in the summer. We talked about the factors that play into an urban heat island, but what actually is an urban heat island? Well, for that, we need to head up. Urban heat islands occur because cities just can't simply reflect as much of that heat energy from the sun as nature can. Surfaces like asphalt and concrete radiate this heat back into the atmosphere, and as it does that, the air rises and localized high pressure forms. While you likely don't notice this urban heat island as we go from day to day life, it does make our nights warmer and our daytimes just a little bit hotter. From Lafayette, I'm Storm Trek 15 meteorologist Corey Smith.